you! What do you think you're doing over there? Who are you guys? Hmm. I feel the power of the force in you people. However, I won't allow anyone to enter the laboratory of the genius greed and insult me. What are you talking about? You're the one who kidnapped and imprisoned a fragile lady. Just what do you think you're doing? I managed to kill all those strange monsters and get through. What happened to all the guards and the prisoners? I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? I'm sure you've met so many of them on your way here. Met them? All we met was a birdling. I'm positive we didn't meet anyone else. No. You must be kidding. <laughs> they may be failed experiments, but they still had a purpose. Oh, that is why I always call forces barbarians. No! Then the monsters upstairs were... At last! Your tiny brains have figured it out! Congratulations! <laughs> you have killed so many innocent people, you murderer! Huh? That's terrible! I should have known better! In my excitement over acquiring those two birdlings, I failed to reinforce the security! Who's even a genius makes mistakes sometimes? <laughs> I won't let anyone interfere with my plan to defeat the Clan of the Moon! Clan of the Moon? To defeat them? Oh, I see now. You are of the Clan of the Moon, disguised as forces. Yes, I know it. I am the true force, the one who revived the legend. As a shining force, I shall bring to you divine justice! A shining force? Victory! Victory! I can feel it! I am the shining force! Me! Greed! <laughs> Transforming! He's merged with his monsters!
He's reverting to his original form. Why? Why? I was sure of victory. What happened to my premonition? Was it a premonition of death? It's all over now. Klein! Oh, Klein! Uh, uh, Fre Freya! Thank goodness you're alive! Yeah, I remember getting caught in a trap, losing consciousness. Freya! Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. They... they saved us. Oh, I wouldn't say that. All we did was lend a hand. There's no way we could have come this far without you taking care of all those monsters. I see. Thank you. You two are... Klein and Freya? Yes, I succeeded my father's force frame, though I'm not officially a force. Freya, you don't need to tell them any more. Klein, that's not very... We've got nothing to say to humans. Come, let's go home. Klein! I'm sorry. Deep inside, he's really a nice guy. Why does Klein hate human beings so much? Where are you all from? I'm Max from Greensleeves. I see, Max. They never told you the truth of what happened in that war. I've heard that many races died out in that war 13 years ago. And I know there was a race called Birdlings who barely survived the whole thing. If Klein and I die, then our race dies with us. But what does that have to do with humans? If you're interested, then ask the King of Hyatt to hear more. Lord Chaos. Thank you again, Max. I have a feeling we will meet again. Farewell, Max! They're gone! It would have been great if they could fight with us as forces. Well, let's return to the airship. survivors this is the end of the building which means those two are the survivors the others must have been used like guinea pigs oh my I've killed a person Max Max those we fight threaten our lives and the future of our world. We believe in our purpose and so we fight. Yes, we must make our enemies bleed and take their lives, no matter what shape evil takes. It matters not whether they be monster or human. That is all. I know that, but I still can't. Ah, not yet! I can still sense them. I won't just give up. He's still alive. I, I can't die here just yet. If I don't take down the clan of the moon, then just who will give the world its peace? The clan of the moon will die! 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 
I assumed he was one of the Clan of the Moon for committing such heinous acts. But now I do not know. He holds a deep grudge against them. This is not a grudge, but fear. He may once have seen their power with his own eyes, perhaps in the war. Perhaps his spirit was damaged beyond all redemption in that war. The fighting was that horrific. He might be one of those poor victims of the Clan of the Moon. But that's not... That's no reason to use prisoners like guinea pigs. Taking all those lives. He can never be forgiven. Ah! It hurts! The Clan of the Moon! I can feel them inside! Stop it! Please! I'm sorry! I won't do it anymore! Just please stop! What's going on? All of a sudden, he just... Ah! You! You're one of them! Please, that is quite annoying. Don't scream so much. Huh? Nice to see your face again, Greed. You certainly have aged since our last meeting. Gah! You! I let go once all the things you did to me here. But it seems you haven't learned your lesson at all. Yo, Van! Please die already. Sweet dreams, Greed. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I had to greet an old friend. Greed here is such a cruel man. Once, a long time ago, he tried to experiment on helpless, ignorant me. He was going to turn me into one of those abominable monsters up there. So I used my power to punish him. I was going to just let him die after beating him to a pulp, but Gaia interrupted me. My father? Yes. So I let him go against my own will. And so, these prisoners were transformed by greed and killed by you. It is all Gaia's fault. The hero who saved the land? Bah! What rubbish! What's the matter, Max? The sin of your father? A bit too shocking? Who are you? Can you still not see the truth? Admit it, you pathetic worm. You called me brother once, remember? Master, my father came here once 17 years ago, right? That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. You sure look like my brother, and you know about father, Merrill, and me. But how can you remember all that so vividly? That all happened just after my brother was born! Who the hell are you? Do you truly not remember? What? I am your brother, but I'm not Cain. I was drawn to the moon. You know who I am. 
What kind of bull are you feeding me here? Come to the last crystal in Hyatt as soon as your little feet can. When you reach it, I shall tell you everything. You think I'm just gonna let you go after finding out what you're really up to? I do not think so at all. But seeing as how you've missed your chance before, I doubt you can catch me this time. All hostilities aside, I think it best for you to listen, even if only for a little while. Don't you agree, Meryl? I've got nothing to say to you right now. Hmm, I guess you don't fancy me any longer. As a fellow child of the moon, I am saddened by your behavior. What? What did you just say? Child of the moon. Are you saying that Meryl is one of the clan of the moon? Bah! Ignore him! He's trying to divide us with those lies. A low trick and an insult to this lady. You, sir, are a man filled with dishonor and contempt. You've nothing left to say. So now you're telling us Meryl's one of those things? If you're gonna make stuff up, why don't you be more original? Whether you believe the truth or not is up to you. But you may realize it too late. Before we ruin each other's happiness, Meryl should come to me. The answer is no! I won't leave your side, Max! Scum. Nothing but a pile of scum. Enough of this foolishness! Do you really like this worm so much? Because he is just? That justice you believe in is so easily turned! Even if you were the old Kane I remember, my feelings for Max will never change! Max, I'm here because of you! Scum! Meryl? <laughs> well, isn't that nice to know? The more spirit you have, the greater my joy will be when I get hold of you! Meryl, in time, you will come to me. Until then, Max, take care of her. Damn it! He seems to have run away. What's going on? Is he Max's brother or what? He is Max's brother, and yet he isn't Cain, or so he said. Maybe you had another brother, only maybe he died before you were born. Impossible! Max and Cain are the only children born of Gaia and Maria. And think, if he died before Max was even born, how could he know of Max and Meryl? Well, I guess you're right. A guy with my brother's face who knows all about us. I don't get it. Just what the hell is going on here? We can think it over on the airship. I think it best to leave immediately for Hyatt. Yeah, you're right. I'm a little worried about Rhinos too. Let's get back up there. Hey, what took you guys so long? What? You haven't found anyone yet? Well, I finished fixing her up and even refueled her tanks. Now the only thing left is to pay for the fuel and we're good to go. Well, actually... 
I told Rhinos everything that happened inside. Now I see. I figured something was up when I saw those two birdling forces come out of that tower. Did you speak with them? That woman asked if I was waiting for Max. I answered yes, and then... She said, well, I suppose he doesn't need to worry about transportation then. And then she flew to the ship at the bottom of the cliff and sailed away. But the guy had an unfriendly look. He didn't say a word. That's Klein and Freya, all right. very far, nor can they fly at high altitudes. I guess we're gonna be in debt to this place forever for the fuel. Ah, whatever. Let's go to Hyatt already. Mara, are you still thinking about what happened in there? There is nothing to be upset about. His words are only meant to fool us. Besides, a lady of your quality couldn't possibly be. Of course! Thank you, Baron. Don't worry, I'm fine! No! You're lying! I know it! You can't possibly be fine after making such a big confession! My heart really went out for you! because of you! Oh, what a sweet confession of your love! It just absolutely reminds me of the time my darling proposed! What? Is that what you're talking about? I mean, no! It wasn't like that at all! Now, now! There's no need to take it back. Max will be so disappointed to hear that, you know. Not you too, Graham. Say something, Max. I... I... Well, it sure was kind of you to... You know, all of a sudden... Sorry? Hey, you gotta do that right now. Come on, we don't have a moment to lose, right? Oh, yes. Everyone there has been merged with those creatures, turned into monsters. 
Greed, the scientist responsible for all this horror, said the fear of the clan of the moon drove him to such acts. Once, the people's fear of the clan of the moon drove them to kill their own king and queen, Cascade Castle. And now, history repeats itself. Our mission is to stop a man who became one of the clan of the moon, the man behind the mask. But I wonder, will stopping him be enough? The identity of that masked man, everything that has happened, the last crystal we must protect. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I can't figure out a damn thing.